Hi guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure uh, VRRP in our existing lab topology. So this is a topology. Um, earlier videos, if you've seen, uh, we have onboarded VH1, 2, 3, and for 3, we have uh, configured OSPF. So now I have added a new VH, that is uh, VH22, and I placed a nest to VH2. So between these two routers, uh, VH2 and VH22, we are going to configure the VRRP. So in our vManage, in the dashboard, we can see now we have four uh, WAN edge routers. If you go to devices, you can see I have onboarded uh, VH22. And that is also under the same uh, the template which I created earlier. So now uh, to onboard the uh, VRRP, uh, first we have to configure a, a future template for VRRP. So go to configuration, go to templates. I'm going to first create a future template, then we'll uh, open a new device template and we we'll attach to that. Uh, first I click the future, then uh, add template. So this future template I'm going to apply only for uh, VH Cloud. And uh, like like how we have for OSPF and BGP, there is no separate uh, template for VRRP because that will be coming under the interface uh, configuration. So we have to configure VPN interface Ethernet. So first thing is we have to name it. I'm going to name uh, VPN 10 VRRP template. So I'm going to give uh, VPN 10 for all my service VPN. So just to remember I given VPN 10. And uh, first thing is globally, I'm not uh, shutting down, I'm giving unshut. Then the interface name, I'll give a device specific VPN 10 interface name. Then IP address, uh, I have to give device specific VPN 10 again. Then if rest everything I'm keeping as it is. So here you can see an option for VRRP. Click on new VRRP. Group ID, uh, let's give a device specific only VPN 10. And um, the priority is 100 default timer 1 and IP address. This is a VIP address. I'm just uh, giving device specific. So in VRNRP uh, group ID, uh, if you want to give globally, you can give or, or device specific, you can give. So only two things we have changed is the group ID and the VIP address and then click add. And then shaping and all, we are not touching anything, leaving as it is, rest everything is same. Only duplex, I'm going to globally give it full duplex. The rest everything is all same. So I'm going to save this. So we can see the newly created uh, Yeah, we can see it is there, uh, VPN 10. VRRP template. It is not attached to any device now, device templates. So now next thing is to add a new device template uh, because if I add the uh, VRRP to existing template, you'll get attached to all the um, VH devices with where the device template is attached. So I'm going to create a new device template that is for your VH cloud. So I'm going to name it VH VRRP for uh, 2 and 22. These are the two sites we are going to attach. So we can use the existing um, templates. PFD, OMP, VPN 0 and VPN 0 interface. Add a new VPN file interface. So only the new thing we are going to add, add new template, feature template that you're going to add is here. 
So I have to add a VPN interface. So this is under service VPN for VPN 10. I'm adding a new interface. And for that, I'm going to attach the new VRRP feature template that we have created. So that is VPN 10 VRRP template. So I think rest everything is going to be same. I'm going to create that. So now uh, my VRRP device template is ready. It is not yet attached, so I'm going to attach it now. So that I'm going to attach to VH2 and VH22. So that is attached. So first let's go to VH2. Edit this. What are the details that we need to enter? We will enter here. So uh, there are a few entries already there. It taken some previous template. Now we have to give the interface name for VPN 10. I always use gigi0 slash 1. And uh, we can check that in the topology also. Uh, gigi0 slash 1. And you can see for VH2, um, the IP address for VPN 10 is 10.2. Uh, 172.168.10.2. 10 Slash 24 and the group ID I will give 10 and this is the VIP address uh, the virtual address that I'm going to give 10.1 so what we added is this uh, these are the details 172 10.1 as the VIP address then the group ID then the interface IP address for VPN 10 then the interface name and site ID it's already taken 12 and system IP VH2 these are WAN interfaces this is a management interface IP so this we can update now we are going to VH22 so in VH22 uh, you can see the site ID is same because we have to keep uh, the same site ID uh, for uh, both this uh, VH22 and VH2 because they are running VRP between them. Uh, so in a uh, SD WAN overlay topology, uh, we can identify if two VH de devices having same site ID. It means they are located in the same site, same location, like that. So now the interface name for VPN10, uh, I will always give gigi0 slash one, and the the IP address we can confirm that. So interface is gigi0 slash one. IP address is 172.168.10.3. 172.168.10.3/24. Then the group I've given 10, and VAP address is dot one. So that's it. So both are done. Now we are going to uh, apply this. So under VPN 10, you can see the VRP 10 and its IP address got added. That will be your config difference also. Yeah, under VPN 10, under gigi0 slash 1. And you can see the IP address is getting changed. We given dot 2 now. No shutdown, full duplex, VRP, and then this IP address. Now VH22. Let's take a queue. So here also we can check. It is adding uh, VRP10 and uh, IPv4 address for the same virtual IP address 10.1. So that yeah, it's same 10.1. So now I'm going to give configure so that it will get uh, you know the configuration changes on two devices. So it is in progress now. So the config is validated and uh, you can see it is successfully pushed to VH2 and uh, successfully pushed to VH22. So now we will go and check the uh, VRRP uh, status. So now we will check the uh, VRRP status. Uh, we have to go to monitor networks. Let's select uh, the VH2 and uh, in the bottom you have the real time where you can run the commands. 
So in the device option, just type VRP. It will give you the VRP information. So this is for VPN ID 10 and the VIP you can see the virtual IP 10.1, the virtual Mac you can see, and uh, this state is backup priority is 100, and the OMP state up. Now same thing we can check for VH22. For VH22 is the master, you can see. Okay, so now the same thing uh, we will verify in uh, CLI also. Show VRRP. You can see VH2 is uh, acting as backup, and the VIP address is uh, 10.1 priority, and the VRP state is backup. Now VH22. Show VRRP, you can confirm it is the VAP address, it is acting as master. Now, and then we can check the TCP dump for VPN 10 interface 0 slash 1. So you can see the VRP advertisement packets are coming every second as expected with the group ID, the priority value, everything. So that's how we configure VRRP in um, Cisco SD WAN. And uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, subscribe to this channel. I'm going to upload more videos um, in the coming days so that uh, you can get the updates. Thanks for watching.